hi what's up here welcome back to my channel i know you guys have questions becca i thought you just made your hair last week the last vlog you showed us you were taking out your braids and you know you went to get your cornrows done and all that how come you already have it out guys let me just tell you i carry that cornrow for about five days <laughs> Either five days or six days or I couldn't even carry it for complete one week. That's how bad I am with hair. I don't know what my brother is cooking in that kitchen. Ah, that's what he's washing. Can you see that he's shouting at me in the background? Che, you're shouting at your elder sister. You don't have sense. Anyways guys, for today, I'm going to take you guys with me to the salon. I'm going to get my hair done. Becca, you're so mannerless. Happy new month guys, it's a new month, it's the month of June, my birthday month and it's exactly 12 days to my birthday because today is the 2nd of June so let me tell you guys some of my subscribers that are also celebrating their birthday this month first off, Crusoe's birthday is on the 8th of June so this is me wishing you a happy birthday in advance, okay? next up is my birthday mates, guys, these people are mentioning to you, I've never seen them in my life they became my virtual friends here on YouTube, okay? so my birthday mate is Lawal we both shared the same birthday date 14th of june so yes look lawa you need to let me know where we're celebrating this birthday because we cannot just be birthday made for nothing is it just me or my lips look so dry let me just apply um my vaseline therapy to it because i don't understand it's been raining all day guys let me know if it rained in your area but it's been raining and i've just been indoors i could have gone to the salon since morning but the rain did not allow me step out this is what it looks like just in case you're wondering and it's um currently past one so i'm sure that this hair will not take time because it's just my first look you guys have seen me do let me show you guys the braid. so guys this is what it looks like i'll be using two packs of it and it's the freedom first looks I used this particular brand in December before traveling home for Christmas and I really loved it but then that one did not have curls I actually left this one because it has curls and I love it so much see I'm just going to install it hopefully this shouldn't take me more than one hour because I don't want to spend time at the salon today and this is going to be my birthday hair yes I do birthday hair another thing I have to mention to you guys is that my shelf is finally here it is right behind you guys at this point but you're going to see it when I get back from the salon because the hairdresser already called me that she's in her shop so let me quickly go and do it before she starts having um, customers and then I now have to join the queue so let me go and get it done right about now so yeah i would let me just what are you doing better you're going to carry your hair like this i know that you people say there's nothing to pack but i will shame you today you shall be shamed ah. this is the only thing don't worry now small time now if i pack my hair I go full everywhere but for now let's manage with what we have the bible says what do not despise the days of your little beginning so this is my own little beginning Okay, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye! We just finished the first step of this hair and at this point I look like Simbi goes to school But my own Simbi is with swag oh. Yeah swag So right now we're just going to do the installation This hair takes less than one hour Chibi? Takes less than one hour But then the only part where you spend time is them counting the hair and then counting the braids as well So that you have the same amount of hair It's not like your braids is like 20 and they cut your hair 50 That means you use rubber band to pack the other side My stylist is there, she's looking at me I don't know where she's shy. She has a YouTube channel. Oh. I'm going to leave the link to her YouTube channel in the description box and I'm also going to write it on the screen. She's just starting out, so guys, please go and show her some support, show her love because it's not easy. I like it when people are trying to put effort into what they have passion for, so that's the thing. She likes to make hair and she wants to teach people, so YouTube. Now 
we have come to the end of the hair. As simple as ABC. And it's not heavy at all. Omorebi custard. Custard child, like yeah. too smooth. Yeah. yeah, I'm doing it. So this is going to lock it in, you know? It's going to hold it firm. Till the kingdom of okay, it's not the kingdom of God. Till I say I'm tired. <laughs> Only the kingdom of God say. Guys, I'm back from the salon. I don't know what my problem is. What do you think about my hair? Cute! Cute! That's the word. If you're looking for it, I've reminded you so that you don't have to go far. Anyways, I'm really hungry, so I want to microwave my lunch. This one's already late lunch because this is past four already and this afternoon I'm actually having African salad that's abacha so I'm just going to heat it up a little bit and I will be right back okay guys here is my lunch already heated up I have pomo here and you know smoked pala fish and my abacha so this is what I'm going to be having with a glass of drink okay so let's just quickly eat before we get to work all right Okay. Well, I'm sure you guys know what my room looks like because um, I've shown you guys that several times on this channel Well, that's my bed area. Don't worry one of my pillows in the sitting room and then this corner of my room is practically empty This is where I sit to film most of the time. I just have my ring light and my tripod Here I really just want you guys to have an idea of what this space looks like so guys, this is what my shelf looks like. The almighty shelf we've been shouting about since, yeah? So it has about four layers, right? We have this first layer. We have the second one, the third one. I have my laptop there because I'm charging it, okay? And the last layer. Once my table and chair is ready, I'll have that placed here, okay? So I'll have the table right there and of course the chair so that this would be some kind of background for me when I'm filming my videos. To be honest, the things I ordered from Shein are not here yet. I called the post office and they told me better just remove your mind for now because nothing is coming in, nothing is going out. So it's going to take a long while. Now, I don't understand the definition of long, okay? So I'm just going to try and set it up with the things I already have, some basic things like books and all that stuff. I didn't want to put a lot of books on the shelf before, but cannot be empty. I really want to start filming here at least for my Austin Better videos and my sit down vlogs here. These are the things I'm going to be placing on the shelf for now. I know it's not a lot and I know that they are basic stuff but let's just work with what we have for now and then build on it much later okay. Let's start with my books. So I have my literature novels here and just regular books that I'm reading for business and all of that stuff. This one is The Magic of Thinking Big by David J. Pronounce this one by yourself now you know now you just know that one. Then I also have my Everyone Communicates, Feel Connect by John C. Maxwell. This one I shall be pronouncing. I also have my Dust to Dew, a memoir by Betty Irabo. And I have Adenike. Um, yeah, so these are the books that I have on this part. Now for this part here, yeah, this is my favorite book. I will marry when I want. Not be me right arm. Now Ungu Giwante Ungo and Ungu Giwan Miri now them write the book. And this was one of my favorite books back in school, okay? I also have my Measuring Time by Helen Habila. This was one of the novels I used for my final year project. I also have Native Son. I think I've shown you guys this novel before. Here I have The Thing Around Your Neck by Chima Amanda Ngozi Adichie. Don't worry, this is how I write my name on all my books, okay? I also have Half of a Yellow Sun by Chima Amanda, of course. Now, all these novels were things that we have to buy in uni to pass, alright? If you don't buy it, you will not get your mark. So, yeah, we had to buy it. I'm sure some of my classmates that watch me would be surprised that I have my novels here with me. I go everywhere with them. There are still a lot in my parents' house, but I just came with a few of them here because 
I don't want the pack book for you. A book one I'm not gonna read. These ones I don't read them, but I just want to put them on there. I also got this frame from one of the supermarkets very close to my house. I think I got this for yeah, 2,980 naira. Then I have just random stuff, my bottles, my water bottles. I feel like they'll be cute on the shelf there. I also have this decorative light here, that's the stand. And this one, you just have to put batteries in there for it to come on. The truth is, I've not put any batteries since I bought it from Shein. So hopefully I get to look for battery now. This frame here was gifted to me by my friend Yemi. She brought this for me when she came to visit me the first time when I moved here. Okay. You guys remember this candle from Tomiwa? Yes, I've started burning it already. Okay. And I also have this candle I bought from Chantel Anyao. You guys know that she has an online store where she sells things like this. So I placed an order for this. Then when she came to Lagos the last time where I vlogged with her, she brought it over for me. So yeah, it's the peach bellini scented candle. Now here I have my magic mouse for my MacBook. Um, I just decided to place it on the shelf as well because I feel like it's fancy and it look nice there. I also have this mirror I got about a year now. I got this about a year now. Hey guys! Hey, hey, okay. I got this mirror off of Jumia and I think it was selling for 6,000 naira or 5,000. I can't remember, but I just really love it because it's two sided, especially for people who wear makeup. I broke this in the process, but I get to use only this part. I don't wear a lot of makeup, so it's just for decoration as far as I'm concerned. I just really love the design, which is why I got it in the first place. It's not like I don't have mirror. You guys know that I have mirror. All right, guys, this is about everything we're going to be placing on the shelf right now, so let's just get to it, okay. the final look of my shelf for now like i said i'm going to move things around in the future and add some more things but for now let's just go closer all right i put the light here and also put one of the bottles here at the back because i feel like when i turn this light on that bottle is also going to shine i don't know it's just in my head and then i have some of my books here you know i just felt like it's nicer this way you know you can see the author's name and the title of the books as well then i have my vanity mirror here my mouse and the other bottle i feel like this place just looks really nice in my head again guys let me know what you think and then on the second layer i placed my literature novels by the side i decided to stand them this way just because i feel like they are more colorful and you can read the titles i didn't want it to be the same way i placed the other books and i decided to add the candle to it just so that it doesn't fall off it'd be like fashion ball i know what made those books for that's why I'm holding it with the candle. I also have this frame. The reason I'm not taking out the nylon from it is I don't want it to get dusty. I'm going to take out the write-up in there and put my own write-up. I have something I want to write there and print out. So that's why I still left it in the pack. And then on this end, I decided to put the things my friends gave to me. As time goes on, I'm going to fill up this space and you know the last layer but for now i think this is okay because once i sit down to film here these are the two compartments you would see which is why i decided to fill them up first hoping that my things get here anyway guys we've come to the end of this vlog i hope you enjoyed watching it as much as i enjoyed filming it let me know what you think about my shelf let me know what you think about my hair i'm excited because i was able to achieve almost everything i set out to do today it's actually a day in the live vlog so yeah i'm hoping that i'm able to post this vlog today if you guys don't get this vlog to night you get it first thing tomorrow being wednesday because i'm trying to see how i can edit everything and just try and post it but you guys know how network can be all right if you enjoyed watching this vlog please don't forget to give me a very big thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed like i said let me know what you think about this i decided to do my outro here because why not now now follow me arrange up so let's launch it together okay thank you so much for watching i love you guys so so much start buying my birthday gift start sending them to me start it's not so early. Anyways, I'll see you guys in my next vlog. Bye!